Hello and happy Pride! Are we live? Yes, we are. So, my sister got me this ring light. And I want to try it. So tell me which setting is okay. So I'll turn it on. Whoa! Sobrang gulit nito, no? Sobrang bright. So let's try a different setting. Masyado namang warm, though. Dapat ice cream, ganyan. Parang disinterested. Yan. Carry ba to? Maputi. Parang masyado naman ito nakakatisay. So maybe, I'll turn it off first. Mas maganda ba wala? Mas natural? Let me know which one is the most ideal setting. So I'll turn it on again. So I'll wait for everyone to come in. Hi. Ay, natatanggal daw yung pilik mata ko, sabi ni Jazz. Tatanggal ba? Saan ganda? Yan, masyado maliwanag. Nakakasilaw pala to. This one. This one. Or this one. It's too warm. Parang masyado itong warm. Hindi ba? Parang sumisepia. Ito na lang. Okay ba to? Yan. Okay ba yan? So tonight, I'm drinking... Gulay kayo. <laughs> I'm drinking Aperol Spritz. I don't really like Aperol Spritz. It's not my taste. But Mix Mojo sent me a Pride package. And it's 250ml. And it's like two glasses. I've already had um, one glass. So I'm gonna do another one. Oh, diba may sponsor na? Thanks, Rodeo, and thanks, PJ. Kaso wala pang bayad. So, you can follow them at Mix Mojo. They have other cocktails. They have mojitos, they have cosmopolitans, and all those lovely, lovely drinks. And it comes in a bottle. And then you can just pour it in. It's ready to drink. So, cheers. Happy Pride, everyone. It's Pride Sunday. If you're wondering when, why we're not having this on a Monday, kasi parang I felt like I wanted to do a special Pride episode. So, kasama sa Pride Weekend. And today coincides with Global Pride, which is celebrated all over the world. It's the largest gathering because it's online, di ba? So, physical, physically, you cannot gather. So, I think the, the pinakamaraming gathering was last year. In New York, I attended World Pride. And, you know, it was like an exhilarating experience. And, you know, people from all creeds and countries, they were there. So, masaya, masaya. So, ngayon, parang mas malaking gathering since online. So, mas malaming communities and organizations worldwide ang nang participate. So, I just want to brief you, like, my live is always about relationships. So, it's just very light, conversational, very friendly. So, we're not gonna talk about beauty pageants or anything of the like. Not that we're not proud. I mean, like, we recognize the contributions of our sisters in that arena na marami talaga silang dinala na honor sa atin and we're so proud of them, we're so proud of them but I just wanna say and I just wanna clarify that the beauty pageant arena is not the only space that we, that us trans women um, occupy so there are other spaces that we occupy and we wanna talk about that so with that, you know, I chose three beautiful, beautiful girls that I feel are, you know, representative of different arenas and of course, it's fashion and it's you know society so yeah and so we're just gonna talk very light lang wala tayong masyadong we're not gonna discuss soji although it's very important and if you can ask questions about soji i'll still answer them you know yan naman yung mga sinasagot ko kapag nagpupunta ako sa mga schools or sa mga opisina not that i know a lot about soji not that i'm an expert in soji i'm not an expert in soji i've read the bill and there are still some provisions that I don't agree with, but I think when you want to pass the bill, you have to take everything as a whole or revise it, ganyan. So, yun. So, yun. So, it's just gonna be a very light discussion this Sunday, rainy night. Umuulan sa labas, sa Montalban. Sa inyo ba, ano? Kamusta ang weather? Let's check who joined us. Vincent Liwanag. Hi, he's, from, he's in Dubai, if I'm not mistaken. Jake Nukum. So my cousin Nikki is here. Sino pa ba? 
Eduardo Paez. Yun. So if you want to ask questions, just feel free to ask. Me or like my friends. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention. My friends are joining me tonight are um, Stylist to the Stars, M. Milian. And then Miguel Defensor, she graduated from King's Cross in London. And my supermodel friend, Maria Rivera. Uh, we, set, we spent some time in New York last year. It's raining in Bulacan. Yeah, Mig Sipu. Hi, Migs! Your Sisms Mori is here. Hi, Sisms Mori. I love you. That was a beautiful birthday greeting. I read it na mga nine hours later na. How's work now? Well, lahat tayo wala masyadong work, de ba? So me, I'm, I'm just taking a lot of meetings. I'm supposed to be writing, but I'm not writing anything right now. Maulan nga po dito sa San Rafael. I live in San Rafael. My live tonight. Yes, I'm doing live now. So, magtanong kayo ng mga questions. Meanwhile, cheers. Yun. Kasi I get a lot of questions um, on my live about um, trans love and, you know, relationships between trans women and men, if they're gay men, if they're whatever. Does it make a guy gay if they go out with a trans woman? Hi to Jeje Tol. Hi, I love you. Hi, Mao. Kamusta ang lipat bahay sa Dublin? My friend Mao, my BFF Mao, is in Dublin and he switched apartments and has a beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah, puro halaman. So, <laughs> nakakasilo pala tong diva light. Hindi ako sanay in front of the camera with a diva, diva light. Kasi diba si Mariah Carey, tsaka si Corina Sanchez, hindi yan sa salang ng hindi, I've worked with her, hindi yan sa salang ng hindi maganda ilaw niya. Hello, Dexter Fabian from Tampa Bay, Florida. Hi! What time is it there? It's 9.07. Our first... I'm gonna talk to Miguel first. Okay, Miguel. I first caught wind of Miguel Defensor when her father, her father shared a beautiful, beautiful post on Facebook. Of course, her father is my friend, Congressman um, Mike Defensor. So, yeah. And so And it was such a beautiful post. It was very accepting of his daughter. And, you know, for a politician to openly, you know, declare his love for his trans daughter is something, something out of this world. Yung parang hindi talaga natin ma-encounter yan, di ba? Kasi, like ako, I know that when my dad ran for politics, I felt like I was going to be a liability to him. Na parang, baka may sabi ng mga tao na parang, ay, may anak yan na ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So, takot na takot ako rin to, you know, front myself in the campaign. But, you know, I did my part. Talagang nangampanya talaga ako. And, you know, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't a big deal. Hindi ganon. So, yun. So, ganon. The light you make, ano? The light make you very alive and very awake. Yan. Hindi naman ako. Kanina inaantok ako. Mabigat kasi yung lashes ko. So, inaantok ako. So, sexy babe. Hi! So, would you rather, like, ako parang, I don't wanna do it on a Sunday night. I thought that this was just gonna be special kasi... Meron ako dapat date tomorrow. Eh kaso yung date ko, parang kailangan pumunta ng NBI. May ganon. Hi, Karen Lee Jerome DJ. So we're just gonna wait for Miguel. I'm gonna talk to Miguel first. And then I'm gonna talk to M. And then I'm gonna talk to Maria. ba? Cheers. So may tanong ba kayo? Mark Ronquillo. You have a resemblance of Claudine Barreto. Thank you. I love Clau. I love the Barreto. Spakak naman ng buhok. Yes. Diba? Nag-shampoo ako today. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Aperol Spritz from Mix, Mo Mix Mojo. So, yan. Meron silang Instagram. So, Mix Mojo. So, hi to Sir Deo and Drenal and PJ. They own this. This is their new business. And masarap siya. Kasi ako hindi ako mahilig sa Aperol Spritz. Pero ito, masarap to. Yun ang ilin ko. You look like Miss Claudine Barreto. Uy, thank you. Basta Barreto, maganda, ba? Kampay! Cheers! So, yun. And then I was like, thinking, di ba, parang ang dami rin kasing nag-Q&A sa akin about um, when do you reveal that you are a trans woman to a guy, di ba? Parang ako naman kasi, if you're not I mean, it's not the first thing that you will volunteer. It's not. The, I mean, it's not gonna be like a banner on your forehead, written on your forehead. Hey, I'm trans. You're gonna walk around like with a scarlet letter, di ba? Parang hindi naman. Ilang percent alcohol? Hindi nakalagay. 
Pero medyo nalalasing na ako. So, yun. Okay, so this girl is somebody that I really, really like. And, you know, I follow her and she's very beautiful. She's very young. She's a graduate from from London and she's here now. So everybody, let's say hi. Miguel! We're just waiting for her. She's coming in. Ayan na siya. Hi! What's up? Kamusta ka? I have my wine ready for you. Cheers! Wait, may corona ka talaga, hon. I know, hello. Oh. I'm just gonna I'm super prepared for this. You really have... prepared? <laughs> All night. All night? Cheers, Miguel. Cheers! I got drunk like... Friends, no... What do your friends call you? You know, some people call me Miss M, Mel, M, Miguel. You can call me whatever you want. But your dad kasi calls you Miguel, di ba? He called me Mel most of the time now. Oh, Mel. But, so now. Yeah. So I'll call you M, Miss M. Okay. Okay. Mas, I'll Dominic call you G3, okay? Yeah, I'll call you G3. G3. Okay. Sure. So I just want to know, um, like, how was your quarantine so far? Because I thought you were in London. I thought you were still I in know. London. When did you get back? So I went home because I graduated last year. I went home for a while, and then I went back for my birthday month, and then the quarantine happened, so now I'm back here. <laughs> How long were you in London after your birthday month? Why was I in London? Or how long how... were you there? How long oh, were you there? I was there for one month. So I went from Feb 6. Yeah. yeah, I know. I missed London. <laughs> I was there for a month. <laughs> you know, nakaka rin yung COVID situation in London. Like, I have a cousin there and it's really crazy. Yeah, so that's why I was home. Because no food, no, like, tissue is so hard. So sabi ko, at least here I'll have food. So, yeah. And here you're near, in here you're near family. Ako rin, I decided to go home yeah. once. Para, you're closer to family, plus you don't have to worry about food and stuff like that. Yeah, everything else. Like, I'm just relaxing. I'm using this time to, like, think. And, you know, yeah. I love, you know, I love you're, it. You know what? You're very pretty. You're very pretty. And I told my, I, and, and I told my followers kanina, sabi ko, like, I first got wind of you because you're, because of Queen Mello. I'm, I'm friends with Queen oh, Mello. Yeah. Oh, my God. I love Queen Mello. Yeah. <laughs> and she's friends with your dad. I'm also friends with your yeah, dad. Yeah. And, you know, I, I first got, when the view when I saw that post about your your dad being so proud of you and you know it it's super super nakakataba ng puso diba yeah, did, you, yeah. did you ever think that it was that, that was an entire story that was a, a long post so tell us about how you came out to your father your family about being trans woman a trans woman yeah. uh i think the first time i did like i think with a lot of us in the community like you don't say i'm trans cuz you don't yeah. know what it's called Yes. And you normally say, I'm gay, because that's how it's sort of, like, perceived here. Like, there's a lack of knowledge on what LGBT is, True. you know? So, like, I think the second time when I realized and I had to come out, it was like, oh my god. You know? It's like, oh my god. Like, I think it's even harder than the first one, you know? Yeah. Because, like, what people don't know is that, like, as, as trans women, we, we come out twice. Right? First, yeah, you come out you as, a gay, as a gay person, and then you come out yeah. as a trans I think M, my other friend M, told me told that and said that in an interview. And said, "Oh my God, I never had a chance of coming out because ever since I was small, I was little, I was always effeminate. It's just that back yeah. I grew up, girl. I grew up in the nineties. In the nineties, yeah. people clearly oh, defined the terms. I was a teenager in the nineties, and I, there was no LGBT whatever clearly defined yet. So you know what, growing yeah. up, I, saw, I thought I was, I was gay. I was. I'm so surprised to hear this now from you that you also thought that you were." you were gay how yeah. old were you then and how old were you then when you thought about that no i think like growing up like i've always been like that like i think my cousins and my friends now will tell you like i'm the same i'm just like more like noisier you know more, <laughs> more extrovert about it but i think like i've always like loved girly things so when yeah. i did come out it was more of like i was 18 when I actually formally did. Debut talaga! Dalaga yeah. talaga! As in fulfillment of a dream. Dalaga talaga! Yeah, so, uh, and then, I think it was a year later when I came out as like, hey, you know, this is actually how I want to dress. This is actually like, you know, I love makeup. And yeah, it took a year of like thinking of what I really wanted. And it wasn't necessarily, nah, that wasn't me. Yeah. But it was like, 
is slowly discovering what you like. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, nagbigay, ka, nagbigay ka muna ng warning. So, yeah, so I'm, gonna, oh, I'm gonna come out like this, ha? I'm gonna put on makeup, I'm gonna... Because I remember, like, when the first time my father saw me in a dress, I could literally hear him gasp. And he's like, oh! <laughs> Ganon talaga, hiyang-hiya ako. Pero ginawa ko siya sa Araneto Coliseum. I invited him to one of our um, Christmas shows in ABS-CBN. Wala siya yeah. magawa, syempre, di ba? Parang lumabat, nagsasabi ko, Hi, Dad! Tapos nakadress na ako. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it was for Lina in Mars wedding. I was wearing a yeah. dress. So, parang, he was invited. My mom was there, ganyan. So, gulat na gulat din. So, <laughs> wala talaga wala talaga yung warning. As in, like, ganyan na ako, di ba? And it took me a while, you know, to be comfortable oh, yeah, yeah. in women's clothes. You know, I only started dressing up maybe a little after, like, after high school, vacation yeah. after high school. And then, in college, parang people were, kasi di ba, parang I went to an, uh, an exclusive boys' school. So, yeah, nobody will ever see that. Saka ba nag-aral? Nag AGS! AGS! Oh my God! Cheers! Yeah. Cheers! Forever blue. Yeah. Diba? Kasi nakikita naman. In AHS naman kasi, nobody naman will think that you're a girl because it's an exclusive boys' school. Yeah. But when I went to university, when I went to La Salle, syempre co-ed na siya, di ba? So that's, that's when people started thinking I was a girl. So I go, yeah. what, the, what the F is up? Parang so I go, huh? yeah. I didn't realize that I look like a girl. Parang ganyan. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. What was your experience like transitioning from high school to college? Uh, I guess it was like that transition. I think mm -hmm. it's more because especially I studied in London, eh. Yeah. So it's really such an open community. Okay. I think that's how it was. Oh, yeah. No, oh my God. You know, I used to get that even when my hair was short. I don't know why. Kamo siya talaga. Oh, anyway, in London. Oh, anyway, maganda naman siya. Oh, anyway. No, I mean like you know why would I say? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, I don't. I think so. University. That's when I slowly, you know, started experimenting. Especially in London, like no one's there to like judge you, and everyone's just like, yeah. Um, so that's when I really started to like understand who I am. But I think it's still like an ongoing process, diba? Right? Like there's things now you thought you'd never do, and then suddenly like you end up doing. Yeah. So I'm just like taking my time with it. <laughs> It's Lovie's honor daw. Oh, honor for ah, Lovie. So, hindi ka maligawan sa Ateneo. Wait lang. Wait, wait. Miguel, what was oh. your earliest notion of romantic love? Oh my God. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, okay. Kasi parang sa AGS. You know when it's like um, a boys' school? Like, oh. it's, it's gonna be like rough and magulo and everything. And oh. I learned from an early age that like sort of like cuteness was my thing like you know as long like as long as i surround myself with people who will like sort of like protect me in a way or like so um i think from a young age i sort of depended on that like i remember when like from like young like people would fight to like carry my backpack to the class I'm like, yeah <laughs> so like like it i don't know like and i just get but in those situations where it's like, okay, okay, okay. So from a young age, I sort of like learned sort of like my feminine power. Um, okay. So I guess if, okay, so I'm not going to like kiss and tell. I'm just going to kiss. Why not? Hey. Sorry, okay, I'll go. No, no, okay, not, go. Okay, not okay. for his purpose, for my purpose. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You want to okay. keep it a secret, but okay, oh, okay. No, pero alam na, okay. So, <laughs> oh wait, wait. The sangria is just starting to hit me, so I'm I'm starting to have the. Okay. <laughs> come by, come by. Yeah, also get come by. Salute. Salute. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Then. You're drinking sangria. You told me you're drinking sangria. Yeah. I mean, we have a lot of sangria bottles for some reason. That's why I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have fun. Oh, okay. okay. So, I think the earliest one was he was like my closest friend for a while. And then like, ah, okay, no, no, I'm, I'm just gonna say <laughs> whatever. My, my sister here and she's watching me and she's laughing, but okay. <laughs> no, okay, so I think it sort of like developed into something else around like seventh grade, first year-ish, you know. So 12. 
Yeah, mga, so, yeah, mga 13, 14, 12, 13, 14, I would 12, say. 12, 12, grade 7 yeah. is 12. Uh-oh. Yeah, so mga ganon, yeah. I mean, like, that's not young. I think kids have So, naging boyfriend mo yun? Or parang may something lang kayo? I think we were too young to put a label on it because it was like, what is yes, this? Yes, because you were, honey, you were only 12. So, I, I think know, you became, right? I, I think I became aware of, like, having a boyfriend, 15 years old na. Late bloomer ba yun, 15? Or masyadong malandi yun? You know, hindi ko Kasi ko 12 I'm, eh. <laughs> I'm saying, I know, I think, and the thing is, I don't think a lot of people know this. Like, 12, okay, 12. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, and then, I, and then I left. I left second year. Kaya, wala na yun. Ah, I think, iniwanan mo siya. Uh, I think it was kind Wait, of dead. You went to Ateneo also in high school until second year lang. Yeah, I went until second year. And then I moved. Okay. So the whole the whole time you were in Ateneo, hindi ka nagkaroon ng official boyfriend? I I, I wasn't out per se. It wasn't okay. official. So it wasn't like, yeah. Parang I don't think there was a label. I think it was more like a fling, like a first fling. Oh my I God, ano yung fling? May kiss ba yun? Ah! <laughs> okay, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. so take us back to the time that you had a first kiss. What was it like and who was it with? You don't have to say his name. Okay. Is it the no, same guy? I... Huh? Is it the no, same I guy? I still know him. I really still know him. It's the same person. Oh like, my, my god! You had been someone I knew for like, what, six years or something? Okay. okay. Seven years. So yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I totally forgot that my followers are also in on this. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Also, it's so whatever. Situation. Situation. So, paano nangyari ang first kiss mo with your friend? With your best friend? Well, <laughs> no. I would say that I think it's something that was like leading up to it. Like, okay. it wasn't, like, it wasn't as if like, okay, wow, 13, let's do this, you know? It was like, I've known him for so long. And it took like, a long time to get to that point so yeah i mean it was okay i mean it, it was good although i'm gonna say this but i've noticed that a lot of people don't know how to kiss <laughs> a lot of boys know how to kiss a lot of, my first kiss was a french kiss and i was like oh my god bakit may dila siyang lumalabas so what was your ah. first kiss like was did you kiss him or did he kiss you or would, did you like lean in together? Sabay, halo, supa, no? Ano nang yan? Ano yung first kiss? I, I, I love how we're talking about the details of this. Okay, let's get yes, into Yes, yes, it's, me- okay. it's very important. No. no, well, he asked first and that's important, everyone. I love you this. Have to ask. <laughs> no, I mean, he asked first and I was like, okay, okay. And then, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, of course, you need a long hair, but you know, I was, you know, I was Yeah, feeling... I also, yeah, yeah. And so then he, he asked me if he could, you're just wait, like, wait, 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 let me clarify. He asked you if he could kiss you. Yeah. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. No, at least. <laughs> no, and yeah. Like, I, and I mean, it wasn't like this, you know, this big Latin thing. It was something that took like forever to get there. So I think, yeah, you know, okay, here's the thing. I think people don't like that that much when they kiss. Because I think like it's the tension leading up to it. Like that's the right. fun part, everyone. Yeah. Right? Diba? So oh. like, I, Yo, okay, anticipation. I get what you mean. I get what you mean. It's really the antip- anticipation. Because yeah. I remember the moments leading up to my first kiss. This guy, my first, my first kiss became my first boyfriend. He asked me to go with him to the back of the school. Alam mo yung dula ang sibol, diba? Oh my God, yes. Alikod, girl! Doon kami naglaplapan. And then so he asked me to go back to the to the, the school theater. Tapos there was a pink bench there. I remember it was a pink bench because maybe it was a prop. And then I sat down there and he was like just mumbling and mumbling. He was wearing a white shirt, wearing jeans. He was playing with the tips of his shirt. And then like, he sat beside, he was getting nearer and nearer. And then he sat beside me. Crush ko siya, ha? Crush ko siya. Pero wala ko idea talaga kung bakit nandun ako with him. I was only 17. I was only 17. I was in 12, girl. <laughs> I think, and then, no, I then think like, I he sat down beside me. What? Go ahead. I think I was 14. I was 14. To you were 14. So maaga kang lumande, 14. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, this guy... This guy, he was a varsity basketball player, jersey number 16. And he was Ooh. the cutest one for me. 
And then he okay. sat, juniors lang naman, juniors league, hindi naman seniors league. So, oh. umupo siya sa tabi ko, and then my hand was there, and then he goes like, oh, how long did it take you to grow your nails? So, tinitingnan niya kunyari yung kuko ko. Tapos, hindi na niya binitawan, nakaganyan, naka, naka-class na kami. Sabi ko, oh my God, holding hands na kami. So, di, ch- nag-chichikahan-chikahan kami, ganyan, naka-holding hands kami. And then, I wasn't, like, I was so shy to look at him. So, I was like, just looking away, looking away. Pagharap ko ng ganun, nakaganyan na siya sa akin. So, nila- <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So, it was, it was recta French kiss. Sabi ko, oh my God, I didn't know how to kiss. I don't know how to kiss. I don't, nobody ever taught me. So, my first kiss, I didn't know if it was a good kiss. But I thought, my first kiss was a French kiss. And then after that night, he became my boyfriend. O, di ba, nadaan na ako sa isang, asang halik. Oh my God. So, 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 I'm talking about this because he is a, obviously a straight guy. I wasn't his first girlfriend. He had a girlfriend before me. And she was from Saint Scholastica. And then I'm saying this because because when you have relationships in an exclusive boy school like in Ateneo where we both came from, they're not gonna tease the guy, de ba? Hindi nila sabi ay bakla ka, bakla ka ganon ganon, de ba? Their friends are going to be in on it, right? Because yeah. it's young. I mean, like it's yeah. assumed that it is gonna happen, de ba? When you're in an exclusive boy school and you start, you know, going to your adolescent years, ganon. Parang it's a natural progression that people that you are close to or people that you find attractive, diba? you're, you're going to sort of manifest a relationship with them. But yeah. in real life kasi, in real life, diba, I'm sure you've had relationships. When you're in a relationship, like girls like us, sabi nga ni Gina Rosero, girls like us, mas mahirap for guys to handle the relationship in a way that, it's not that it's different from other relationships, ha? but they have to go through a lot more acceptance. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kasi it's a tall order for you to not only, you know, accept that you're attracted to a trans woman and you're a straight guy, it's also going to be very, very tricky saying this to people or introducing you to people. Like, pag sinabi lang, oh, this is my girlfriend and my girlfriend is transgender. Kasi yeah. yung stigma ng meron sa mga transgender, mapupunta rin dun sa guy. Yeah, so yeah, many yeah. times, they begin to question their gender identity, right? Yeah, yeah. Parang ganyan. So, but I want to clarify, and I, I know that you know this, that gender identity is very different from sexual preference, right? Yeah. Those are two yeah. different things. Because the misconception, if you fall in love or if you have a relationship with a trans woman, you're automatically gay, right? Yeah, yeah. No! Gender <laughs> identity does not change whether or not you fall in love with a trans woman, a man, or a woman, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Gender identity is your identity, di ba? Yeah. Sexual preference is who you love, di ba? Who yeah. you are does not change w- uh, with who you love. So your gender yeah. identity remains the same. Parang ganyan. Yeah. Oh, nasingit ko yung soji, ha? Ah! <laughs> are no. you in a relationship now, Miguel? No! Okay. Um, Ay, naghan no. si Miguel! Huh? Oh, ano? What? I, I I can't read the comments, everyone. Okay. Are you in a relationship now? Uh, no, no, no. Are you in a relationship no. now? I'm in a relationship with myself now. Yes. Holler. Holler. Yeah, you know, because but... you know what? It's so stressful. People here are always like, "I want to get into a relationship," and like it's so stressful. Like I just want to be pretty. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, no, because people. Pero may kung gusto. But you like somebody, uh, or you don't even like somebody now? No, I think I know who I'll end up with. But it's like, I'm Sigurado, taking my time. Oh, ah! How old are you now? Do you mind asking, uh, I mean, do you mind if I ask how old you are? I'm 22. Yes, I'm 22. My God, you're a fucking baby. I know, I just graduated last year. So 22, I'm 22. Hindi ka, I know. Miguel, I'm 22, nage-enjoy, enjoy pa yan. I mean, I, I know, but I'm taking diba? my drink. Yeah, but you know, it's so hard. Okay, here's the thing. Like, I used to tell people that I, I like dating sort of like, how do I put, like, the player types? Because, like... Oh, because 20, 22 ka pa lang. Oh. Yeah, I know, I know. And it's fun. And it's like, it's a process. Yeah, go. I mean, when you're dating oh. that person... Parang you get like during the honeymoon vibes, like you're just so happy and like you get prettier and everything. And then when you break <laughs> up, 
And then when you break up and it's a quick break up, you know, it's like, that's when you like level up sort of because you're like, okay, I'm going to show you. So I like dating in that way. But I, it's yeah. when I know like the other person isn't like, you know, it's like the serious, not serious. Like it's a serious relationship, but you both know it's sort of like a quick thing. Like it isn't like your yeah. final destination. So yeah, oh. that's, yeah. I think but that's you date for fun. Like. So you date yeah, for fun. fun yeah. You date for yeah. fun. Okay, that's not, there's no harm in that. You're very young. I mean, you're going to go through your 20s. Like, you know, it's going to be the most fun because it's like exploring, discovering yourself, discovering who you like. Ako, yeah. I like players din eh. Parang yung, 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 yung love ko for players, hindi na nag, hindi ah! na nag-evolve. Like, so up to now, I still like players, but I've, I've had like a command decision. Sabi ko talaga, I'll be smarter in who I'm going to date. I've, you know, I have to use my, my, my brain at some point. Hindi na yung parang, shit, gusto ka ng bad boy. Ganyan, ganyan. Hindi na parating ganyan. Di ba? Parang, you, you, of course, you want to end up with someone. Yeah. Ikaw ba, do you see yourself? Kasi parang ngayon, di ba, it's impossible to get married in the Philippines for girls like us, di ba? Yeah. But, I, uh, I dated a, I dated an American guy and I told him, kasi sabi ko kanya, parang, you have the capacity to marry me because it's allowed in your country, di ba? Yeah. But, that's not gonna stop me from falling in love with a Filipino if we don't end up together, diba? So even if, you know, a Filipino guy cannot marry me, diba? If I fall in love with a Filipino guy, then I'm gonna end up with a, a Filipino guy. So ikaw, importante ba sa'yo ang kasal? Now that it's available to us. Uh, I think it depends. Because, like, obviously, if you're gonna stay with someone long-term, it's such a hassle, like, paperwork-wise. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's yeah. just... Like, it, like if, if you fall in love with someone na, you know, for the longest time, it's the two of you. That person will know what decisions you'd want when you're in the hospital or like, you know, when yes. you're... Yes, responsible to say, oh, oh. And I think it's so crazy na that's not an option. I think it's just so dumb how that's not an option. Right? True. And true, I think like, we're lucky because our families like us. But yeah. like, <laughs> for, for most LGBT families... Their families, like, hate them. So how sure are you that that decision is going to be for that person's, like, best interest? Like That's true. Right? That's true. I think there's a lot of, you know, parang ako kasi, parang I, I strongly believe that, you know, the people that are in your family are supposed, are, are supposed to be the ones that accept you first. But then again, like, when this happens, diba, they're the first to take it the hardest. So yeah. now that I'm older, because when I was younger, I said, why didn't I get So I was very hurt about it. I ran away from home. Ganyan. But now that I'm older, I realized that, you know, it's hard also for your parents to accept the changes in you. Diba? Ikaw parang, yeah. When you're a teenager, parang you feel like there are some changes going in inside of me, in my body, and internally. So parang I don't understand what's going on. Parang I feel like I'm a woman, and yet, you know, I'm in the body of a man. Ganyan, ganyan. And then my, my, my family tells me, like, uh, my uncles, my aunties, my dad, my mom will tell me, na parang, don't be like that. So parang, imagine growing up thinking that there's something wrong with you yeah, and your yeah. family tells you that. Diba? Parang, syempre, you take it against them. But when you get yeah. older and you have the wisdom, you realize na parang they just really, really want what's best for you. And at that time, parang feeling nila yun yun. Diba? But again, yeah, with yeah, time... Yeah comes acceptance and you know that's when you flourish diba? that's when you really become yourself I've never seen a trans woman who was not happier when she became herself diba? Yeah, and that's what yeah. I see in you I see a lot of my actually Miguel that's why I invited you I see a lot of myself in you like I, I, I view your Instagram and I see that uh, you're a lot like me when I was young I was free spirited I was really just having fun you're also a fashion girl. I mean, I like your style, ganyan. And I know that, you know, you get a lot of attention from the guys. I don't know if your father would be happy about that. But diba, parang kasi, I just really, you know, there are a lot of transgender women who follow me who are not, you know, maybe as knowledgeable as, you know, like in terms of, you know, relationships and stuff like that. I know because they ask me na parang, how do I get a boyfriend or how do I get a yeah, guy yeah. to like me? How do I get my crush to notice me? Ganyan, ganyan. So, Ika, what can be, like, something to tell them? What, what can be your advice to young trans women like you, maybe to, in their 20s or me, maybe even younger, just, you know, getting to know themselves, getting to know who they are? Ano yung gusto mong sabihin sa kanila in terms of, like, what you experience in your journey? Um, I guess the most important thing is really, like, 
finding who you are and then living authentically as who you are. I think the reason why sort of like, like guys like us and sort of like can overlook certain things is because like we're authentic. We've reached like a lot of like people like us have been in places where sort of like we've been forced to really like just stand in your power and like stand in yeah. your identity. So like, I think that's one I thing. I like that, like, stand in your power, yeah. That's friends. beautiful, stand in your power, yeah. Yeah, I mean like people would like really find it refreshing and attractive when you're just confident with who you are. Like when you're just like loving life and having fun, that's when like most people would sort of like gravitate to you. You don't have to like dress up a certain way yes. or, you know, I mean like it's your own thing. Like, I, I get some people, like, sort of, like, try to copy other people's, like, actions, physiques, like, how they dress. And that's just not the way to go. Like, I'm not going to give you fashion tips or, like, makeup tips because that's, like, like, there's multiple ways to do that, you know? And when you're showing that, you know, you're happy in what you're doing and you're confident in who you are, that's when people will gravitate towards you. Okay, okay, beautiful set. I mean, like, it's true. Because, like, you know, I watch RuPaul's Drag Race every day. And, you know, there's truth in what she says in the end. She says, like, if you can't love yourself, how the, e- the hell are you going to love someone yeah. else? Diba? So, that's what It just takes, sometimes it takes a while for you to realize, diba, that you love yourself. Because you have some baggage in your life that you haven't changed. Because you haven't changed the people around you. Diba? But, you know, attraction comes when you accept yourself. Diba? Yeah. And, like, what you said, it's very true what you said. Like, when you're authentically yourself, then people gravitate towards you, diba? There's a certain yeah. magnetism to somebody who is authentically themselves, diba? So if you're, diba, parang if you're hiding, if there's something about yourself that I don't really, that you don't really accept, diba? Parang yeah. it's going to be harder for people to see what's lovable yeah. in you. So tamang-tama talaga yung sinabi mo na parang in order for people to like you, you have to like yourself first. Tama, yeah. diba? Yeah. And that for takes sure. a while. I mean, like, I think I'm gradually liking sort of aspects of me. And like over time, you sort of like think, okay, why didn't I like that part of myself? Parang, where did I overhear that? And like yeah. you slowly sort of like deprogram your mind into like, yeah, yeah really. I think, you're a lot, I think you're a lot like me that you have a lot of heterosexual guy friends and heterosexual girl friends, diba? Yeah. I don't know if you have a lot of trans women friends. I don't know if you have a lot of trans girl friends. But I feel like when you grow up in an atmosphere of heterosexuality, like yeah, kasi diba, yeah. we went to the same high school, na puro yeah. mas marami talagang ano dyan, mas maraming hetero, diba? Parang uh-huh. you become accustomed to a, cul- a culture of heterosexuality, diba? Parang you feel yeah. like, okay, this is my guy friend and they treat me like a girl. So you imbibe that kind of, you know, persona, na, diba? And unless parang you grew up like uh, in a co-ed uh, atmosphere and like you're ostracized because you're, you're half there and half there and you're not really yeah, anywhere, yeah. diba? Until you fully transition and you fully become yourself. And when I say fully transition, it means becoming fully who you are, with or without yeah. surgery. So yeah. I feel like the attraction comes from, and I wish I'd known this earlier. I wish I'd known this in high school. Na parang because I was very shy in high school. I didn't. I, I was very, you know, I was very tentative. Hindi ko lang kung gagawin ko. Sana mas marami ako naging boyfriend nung high school kung hindi ako mahiyain, de ba? Kung alam ko na yung sarili ko nung time na yon, de ba? I wish I yeah. could back. I wish I could go back to high school and become as confident as I am now. Diba? Parang, yeah, yeah. Diba? Mas maganda yung experience. But then you learn. Like you said, kasi it takes time. So oh, it took me a really, God. really long time. It, takes, it took me a really, really long time. And I want you to tell our friends, those who are watching, parang, ano yung pwede mong masabi na to encourage them? To encourage them that love will happen for you. Kasi diba, parang, it's hard for us, diba? It's hard. I think when, when you talk about the, the, the dating food chain, we're in the yeah. bottom, essentially, diba? Parang, guys, only straight guys will like us. I mean, gay guys won't like us. I mean, girls won't like us, diba? I mean, like, romantically, yeah. diba? Pero, minsan, marami sa mga katulad natin, girls like us, like, they really, really lose hope. They don't know if love will ever happen. So, Ika, what, what can you say to people who, to girls like us that, you know, want to fall in love but don't think it will happen? I think some, like, there's an element of sort of, like, changing what love should look like in your head. Because sometimes we, you know, we tend to think of it as sort of, like, this Prince Charming who's, like, perfect, 
like six foot tall with like rock, you know, rock hard. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong. That's still in my fantasy. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I guess it's sort of like over time, like when, when you start dating and when you actually start meeting people, you realize sort of like it's their personality really. Because like if it's someone who's really attractive and is so boring and it's like, you know, a total douchebag, like, yeah. I mean, r- right? Like, I think most of the time we sort of like close ourselves to love because we think yeah. it's supposed to look a certain way. Right. And sometimes it's literally, you know, it's, it's just every day. You know, it's the person who cheers you up every time in class, you know? It doesn't have to be this, you know, with 12 bouquets, like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, like, but also I think sort of like when you get to a point when you love yourself so much, you don't like look for that. Like, and, and by that, I don't mean like, you stop wanting romantic love. It's that you're just happy now and sort of you believe that in the future, potentially something could happen with someone. So I really like, we'll go back to my first point and like, it's really just enjoying now. I mean, like, even if it's just with your friends or like hanging out at home, watching people like you on like RuPaul's Drag Race or something like that. It's getting to a point of happiness where you just like, don't need a guy to fulfill you. I mean, I don't know. Is that so good <laughs> pageant? <laughs> I mean, saan mas madali mag jowa sa Pil- in your experience ha? sa Pilipinas o sa London? Ah, unahan na kita, London. Like I, I always <laughs> tell this to people, I don't think I can date anyone here, and it's not because like you know, because of you know, but it's more of like if you're dating someone here, you have to date their whole family. And you have to make sure every that's single nice. person yeah, is there. Wonder, yeah, well, like, well that's complications arise. But yeah. that's a beautiful thing. And very family-oriented. You come from a big family. Yeah, yeah, family. yeah. It's, fun. It's, it's also fun to experience. So you, how many boyfriends have you had in your life? In your 22 years? Okay. Official I boyfriends. Will, I will say official label, zero. <laughs> Why? Yeah. No, because I'm saving that spot. I'm really saving that spot. I know. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, no, my, everyone used to fight me and say, para, ang, ang, ang taas ng standards mo, and it's like, it's my choice. I'm not gonna have a boyfriend. <laughs> true, <thing>. true. <laughs> I mean, so like, yeah. So, just so mataas yung sta, alam mo, I think it's very ideal. It comes with youth, being idealistic. You know, impulsiveness comes with youth. Like, when I was in, yeah. when I was in high school, sabi ko, parang lahat ng friends ko may boyfriend na, bakit dapat mag-boyfriend na rin ako, ganyan-ganyan. And then you, I didn't realize that, you know, like guys were sending me like, so ko, ano ba to? Why, 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 why this particular attention from this particular guy? Kasi hindi ko talaga alam. So, yeah. ayun, nag- nag-boyfriend ako just because may nagligaw sa akin, na gusto ko naman, yeah, yeah. ganyan. Pero, di ba, it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be, like, now that you're saying that, I feel like when you wait for the right one, di ba, your first love, your first official labeled Yeah. Jowa, then it's going to be more rewarding, I feel. Yeah, parang, yeah. And you say that parang it's going to be easier for you to find somebody from... I had a British boyfriend. I met him in Barakai. Yeah. And we were, you know... And, you know, I like British guys because, you know, they're very smart. I like their humor, diba? And they're very yeah, straight yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. They'll tell you what they feel and they'll tell you, you know, what they think. Kanya, wala and that's what right. yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And so you're telling me that, of course, like your first boyfriend should be somebody that you meet in London or elsewhere, not a Filipino. Why is that so? Apart from the reason that you gave na ayaw mo nang i-date na yung buong family. So why do you think somebody, uh, a foreign guy will be your first boyfriend yeah. of I choice? Mean, I, no, I th- I'm, I'm still open. I mean, I'm not closing anything. But it's oh, pwede ka pa rin ligawan ng mga Pinoy, di ba? <laughs> why not? No, why not? You know, if, if they can be like, nope, this is my relationship. Like, you know, no one else gets to have a say. Why not? But I think yeah. in my experience, like, I grew up abroad. So I feel like parang my way of thinking has drastically changed. Because I moved when I was 14. And I lived alone un- until my cousin moved in with me three years ago. So, okay. like, I feel like I've really sort of, like, changed na. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like the way I think is so different. And 
Yeah, that's what you mean. Like, I want to be straightforward. I want to say what I want, like, what I feel. So I, I want to be able to debate intellectually, to talk about <laughs> things of culture that I like. Yes, so, yes. So you know, that's I mean, important. Like, if something comes like that, why not? Like, I'm not closing my yeah, only for example. One. Okay, oh. stop you, Miguel. So, for example, like, diba, this whole pandemic is over and we're back to normal yeah. and you find yourself somewhere in Poblacion and this cute Filipino atenista guy, you know, gets you drunk, okay. buys you a drink, buys yeah. you fish balls, ganyan, ganyan, lasing ka, ganyan, ganyan. And he invites okay. you over to his place to have sex with him. Will you go with him or not? It's just a one-night stand thing. Ano, ganyan, sobrang guapo. Sasama ka o hindi ka sasama? Okay, I feel like two years ago, I'll say yes. <laughs> but now, I'll say, okay, but only if we just kiss. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah, I'm really honest. Lang. So, oh, lang. yeah. I mean, the lips lang. Okay, sige, no, sige. No, I feel like, sige, sige. no, I mean, it depends, you know. Like, I don't know. I've, I've come to the point where it's like, okay, like, I want to know their whole, like, routine, you know. <laughs> like, they shower, do you? <laughs> But I think like, di ba, parang there's a, there's a thinking, there's a misconception that girls like us, you know, parang the moment a guy, you know, gives us attention, we're gonna pounce. That's not oh, true, no, di ba? No. Hindi, naman, <laughs> hindi naman siya ganyan, di ba? Hindi, no. It's not like that all the time. It feels like kasi parang some people, when they say that you're trans and, you know, you're dating around and you're, you know, you're single. Because ako, when yeah. I'm single, I date around. There's no apologies talaga. Sorry, not yeah, sorry. I'm not single because I'm single, di ba? Ganyan, ganyan. Yeah. So they think that, you know, any guy that approaches you, like any guy that buys you a drink or any guy that buys you dinner, di ba, you go home na with them. It's not like yeah. that, di ba? Parang, it's not. Hindi yan dahil, it's not attached to your gender identity. It's not no, attached it's to not. who you are. Yeah. It's attached to what you believe in and what you're looking for, di ba? Yeah. Just so happens that, you know, if a Filipino guy, you know, buys me fish balls and buys me a dick, I'll go home with him. Ikaw kasi Why not? <laughs> I mean, you didn't put you didn't put makeup for 45 minutes not to, right? Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. But you know, <laughs> a lot of things change, diba? A lot of things change. But now we're in a pandemic. Yeah. Parang, you know, diba? Parang a lot of guys are bored. A lot of guys are at home. Yeah. They want to video chat with you. And they ah! want to do, you know, you want, they, they want to come over. And then they, yeah. you know, they, want, they want you to come over. Na parang ikaw, iisipin mo, like, gusto ko bang pumunta sa bahay ng lalaking to, mag Netflix and whatever drink, mag-Netflix at mag-drink, and then pag-uwi ko, may COVID na ako. Siyempre, hindi, oh diba? Para, no, hello. Diba? You're, you're going to calculate the risks. And yeah. you're not just gonna give yourself to anyone, diba? So now, I think what COVID did for all of us is that we've become more selective in who we decide to spend our time with, in who we decide to be with romantically, diba? How did COVID yeah. change? Because I asked you a while ago, that my, was my first question to you. What was your, your first notion of romantic love? So how has your notion of romantic love changed because of this pandemic. So, ano na yung mangyayari ngayon sa process of selection mo? Because I believe naman that you want to be with somebody, di ba? Parang, it's yeah. good din naman to have somebody yeah. while you're born yeah. at home, somebody to talk to, somebody that you, you know that cares about you. So, how has your notion of love changed since this pandemic happened? Uh, I think overall, this pandemic has really made me like sort of pause and reflect the things, sort of like the thoughts, the things I do yeah. that aren't helpful. You know, oh my God, like I shouldn't have done that. Oh my God, like why do I keep still doing this? Like it's allowed you to pause and really look at your life in like a bird's eye view where you're like, okay, that's not working. That's not working. That's not working. I think the pandemic with love specifically, I think it's really just helped me like get over everyone and like just be ready for like, a new start like from t- like I, wala ka nang hang up sa kahit so anong guy ha huh? wala ka nang hang up to with wala ka nang hang ups about any other guy no i just don't care i'm having fun and i'm in a group of girls who are also fun like having fun as single people yeah. i mean most of my friends now yeah. have like ever gotten being, out of it goes with being it goes with being 22 it goes with being yeah. 22 and it goes no, with being, that's, that's having a lot of fun yeah It's just that, yeah. like, that's some that's... aspect of fun. Like, all of us girls just having fun, enjoying the world, not stressing about who we're with, or if we're in a relationship, or if we're pretty enough, or, you know, I mean, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Kasi ito rin, diba? A lot of, kasi a lot of the desirability comes from, of course, let's be real. It comes, it comes from appearance. That's why we work a lot yeah. with our appearance. Pero kasi, like, I think you hit it on the, on the head, the nail on the head, when you said na, you really have to be yourself. For, kasi, not everyone will like you. Not everyone will like your yeah. romantic needs. But it doesn't mean, because not, because the guy you like doesn't like your romantic needs, you have to change yourself to accommodate that guy. Diba? Oh, because I even if this like guy that. doesn't like you, if you become yeah. if you become your true self, diba, another guy will appreciate you for yeah. who you and are. It's the and you know, like, you know better he, fit. Yeah, it does and to that guy, to that guy, it's not gonna matter if you're trans or if you're yeah. cis or if you're whatever, diba? So I think I think that's the lesson that I learned from you tonight. Na parang I think that's really crystal clear to me. I mean, like you articulated that so well, and you are younger than me, obviously. But you know, there's you know that's, that's something that I learned tonight. Because ako siya pa alam ko na yan in the back of my head, de ba? Parang yeah. articulate mo siya perfectly when you said na parang kailangan talaga authentic, magugustuhan ka pag authentic ka. Kasi ako yeah. dante, admittedly, I cannot. You know, it's not the, the thing that I front. Hindi kasi nasabing like, I'm a trans woman. Because that will scare a lot of guys away, right? That's gonna go, uh, it's gonna make them go running in the opposite direction. But I mean, like, that just it means that they're not the one for you. But yeah. if you're in your authentic, I mean, attraction comes by being your authentic self. Tama ba yun yung sinabi mo? Yes! Amen! Cheers! Amen, sister! Cheers! <laughs> Happy Pride! And thanks for talking to me. And let's hang out after this whole Yeah, pandemic. of course. Okay. Cheers. Say hi to your dad. Okay. Sabihin mo sa daddy mo, i-ano na niya yung soji bill. I know. Yan. Let's do this. Everyone, let's And then tell him to renew na the, con- the, 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 the franchise of ABS-CBN. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Thank you, Miguel! Thank You're you welcome. I mean, thank you for having me. This was so of fun. Course, we'll, have, we'll have more conversations. I had a lot of fun talking to you, and I'm going to talk to the other girls. And I just really okay. want to thank you for giving us time tonight and for drinking with us and for sharing yeah. us what you know and your experiences as a millennial, beautiful trans woman from London. So thank you very much. And I hope that when you get to go back to London, you find that guy. Okay? <laughs> and when you tell me about it, you make me chica. Okay, don't Cheers. worry. You're going to be the first one I tell. Promise, cheers. Bottoms up, bottoms up. Bye, happy Friday. Okay, so that was Miguel. And then we're going to talk to M in a couple of minutes. We're just going to, I'm just going to go to the, the restroom. And then we'll talk to M. My God, sabi ko kay M, 9.30, 9.32 na.